the first colour that I'm going to go in with is Morocco by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to use as a wave at 228 and all I'm going to do is literally buff this through the crease. I'm not going to use like any browns or anything, I'm literally just going to use a lot of colour so we want to make sure this is really strong. And when there's hardly anything on your brush you can just kind of brush it into the brow bone a little bit. And you want to make sure that you're bringing it right on the outer corner as well in kind of like a C shape because it's going to be a rounded eye. You want to make sure as well that you bring it right in this inner corner. So you can be like a little bit messy with this colour because as we blend the other colours in it's going to fade away so you can always clean that up later on. So the next brush that I'm going to go in with is a 221 by MAC and I'm going to use this like light purpley shade called Carnival by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to start to build this up through the outer part of her eye now. So I'm literally using this just on the outer part where we're going to apply more like deeper purples so we're just going to use this as a transition colour just so the other colours blend easily into it and it's not chapper. Sometimes coloured eyeshadows can be, can be quite chalky so you want to make sure that you're really blending them into the other colours. So I'm literally being really light handed when I'm applying it. And so you want to just keep building up this colour until you're happy with the colour payoff. So the next colour I'm going to go with is called Fig One by MAC and this is just like a deeper purple and what I'm going to do with this is just place it below where we applied that first colour. I'm just going to apply it first and then I'm going to blend later. And again I'm literally being really light handed. So once you're happy with the colour payoff then you can go back in then and blend. All you want to do is just literally go back in with the tiniest amount on the end of your first blending brush and you want to kind of blend this above all the other colours. That way it doesn't get lost then when you're blending. What I'm going to do next is on the same 2 to one I'm just going to dip into Sketch by MAC and then a little bit of Cherry Cola as well from Makeup Geek. They're basically really similar in colours like a deep wine colour but this is just what I'm going to pack onto the outer corner of the eye. You're going to always make sure as well that you're lifting the brow bone that way you can get right in the socket of her eye then without leaving any gap. You want to leave this inner part of her eye blank as that's where we're going to put the blue colour. So I'm going to use this blue shade on a MAC 217 and I'm going to apply this on the inner corner of her eye and this is just by Makeup Geek and it's called Neptune. So you want to just start to run this through the inner part of her eye. So with this colour as well you want to take your time and build it up because you don't want it to go everywhere. You literally just want it to be on this inner part of her eye. Quite tight in the socket. And then when you get to where the other colour meets you would kind of want to diffuse it through. I like to kind of just get it on at first and start to build the colours up and then I can go back in later on then and see maybe where I need to blend or add some more colour. You want to leave as well this middle part of her eye blank because that's where we're going to apply the glitter. So you want to get a really nice colour payoff with that. So it doesn't really matter too much about this bit. It doesn't have to be perfect there because we're going to apply the glitter over top anyway. So I'm just going to go in now and highlight a brow bone just to kind of clean up underneath a brow and I'm just going to use Nylon by MAC. So I'm literally just going to run this underneath a brow bone and I'm just being very light handed with it. I want the most pigment to be right here at the top of a brow bone. 
And then once you've applied that, don't worry if it goes into any of your shadow because you can always just blend back over. And then back in with your blending brush, your first transition colour, and just run this over the socket again. So I'm going to use Reflex Gold from MAC. One of the nice things about these is you don't need to apply any like glitter glue or any base. You can just kind of apply them as they are. And the colour payoff is so nice. What I'm going to do now is go in with the glitter. So I'm going to use this one, which you've probably seen on our Instagram. So it's called Afternoon Delight by Lit Cosmetic. So this is what I'm going to apply into the centre of Britney's lid. So I'm just going to coat both sides of the brush in the glitter, tap off any excess, and then what you want to do is literally just start to pack it on. So again, you want the majority of colours to be right in the centre of the eye. If you ever need too much glitter, just kind of wipe it off on the back of your hand. And then with whatever's left on my brush, I'm going to almost kind of blend it onto the eye. So you never want your, your brush to be too wet with the glitter glue, otherwise it can become like a paste and it's hard to blend out then. I'm just using a MAC 242 and this is what I use to apply all my glitters. I just feel like that um, it's easy to blend out with. You want to make sure as well that when you're applying glitter you always get your clients to keep their eyes closed until it's dry, otherwise it can transfer and then it gets in your crease. So I'm just going to use Select's Cover Up in NW15 by MAC and this is a 252. So if you just get to look up and you want to run this underneath the lower lash line, right to the end. You can bring this quite low down as well. You want it really smoky and blown out underneath with all that colour. I'm going to use the Neptune that we use on the eye from Makeup Geek. So the nice blue shape. So these are lashes from Tatty Lashes and I think they're called TL2. They're just really nice and wispy but quite long. So I'm going to apply the lashes. So look down. And I like to place them on the outer corner first. And then I like to tuck in the middle and the inner part as well. Right, so once the lashes are on, you can move on to the lower lash line then. I'm going to use this flat brush by MAC, I think it's called a 239, and I'm going to use that first lilac shade that we used. And I'm going to run this on the inner part of the lower lash line. You want the majority of colour to be right at the root of a lash, and then you can kind of diffuse it down then. But with this colour, you can bring it quite low, because we are going to do it really smoky underneath. You want to almost diffuse it into that blue. And then you're going to go back in with your 227 from Zoeva and that blue shade. You're going to really make this colour pop now. So again, with this, you want to bring the majority of colour right to the lash line and then when the, it's on you want to kind of diffuse it out. And with this you can kind of pull it a little bit further out on the outer corner of the eye. So I'm going to go in and line the waterline and it's, it's a Pro Longwear eye pencil from MAC and it's called Mountain Air. So it's just basically like a really nice blue colour. So I'm going to use a damp beauty blender and I'm going to use the NARS Illuminator in Cold Cold Cabana. And you want to apply this everywhere. So I'm just going to clean under Britney's eyes just so when we apply the concealer it doesn't go like a funny colour because sometimes if there's shadow on the skin the concealer can sometimes go like a little bit grey, a little bit muddy. The foundation that I'm going to use today is MAC Studio Fix in NC30. Now this is a really popular shade like, and a really popular foundation. I use this on most of my clients. So 
So I'm going to go with the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I'm going to use a brush to apply it onto Britney's face. And I'm going to use a Clean MAC 217. So I'm going to go in and highlight with a highlighting pen from MAC. And it's just called Light Boost from MAC. just to create a little bit of dimension in the space. So I'm going to use the same 217 by MAC. Very lightly buffing this in and then I'm going to go over it with my beauty blender so there's no harsh lines. So I'm just going to use a Laura Mercier powder just to set underneath Britney's eyes. So I'm literally just pushing this over where I've applied that concealer. So the first contour shade that I'm going to use is Dark Golden by MAC and I'm just going to use this to start warming up the skin, just very lightly. Just so when I add a darker shade it doesn't look muddy, it's nice and soft because we've got that first light colour to blend into. So I'm going to go with Dark Tan which is the same product, but just a darker shade from MAC. And I'm going to start to work this underneath the cheekbones. So just with your contour brush, you just want to buff out any edges and make sure everything's nice and seamless. Go back over with your setting brush and just pat over any areas. So I'm going to use Spice Lip Liner by MAC and I'm only going to do something quite neutral on the lip because there's so much going on on the eyes, we don't want it to overpower. So all I'm going to do is just start to line Britney's lip. I'm just going to use this lipstick from MAC called Really Me. It's almost like a lilac-y shade, that's why I've chose it with this look, I just feel like it'll tie in with the eyes, but it's still nice and neutral so nothing too crazy.